All right guys, it's me, Gordon from GW TV, and today we are gonna fit these barn door windows onto the T6 project. Let's do it. Okay guys, so today it's a bright sunny day. It's the middle of November, but it's not the ideal time of year to be fitting windows on the van. You'd ideally wanna do it in the spring or the summer, but we've got a lovely clear day. Should have enough time before there's any rain to get everything sorted. Before I go any further, I just wanna say a massive thank you to our friends over at Heritage Park Centre. They've kindly provided these windows for me to do this installation, uh, which is absolutely awesome. And they've also extended a 5% discount for you guys should you want to buy anything from across their whole website. Heritage Park Centre are a massive international company. They're based down in Brighton and they're run by enthusiasts, for enthusiasts. They do parts for all sorts of classic and modern VWs, Porsches, and I'd encourage you to check them out. There'll be links in the description, including the discount code for that 5% discount. That's really, really generous. Thank you, Heritage Park Centre. And let's get on with the install. Just a quick heads up as a disclaimer, I'm not a professional. So if you are gonna imitate anything that I do at home, I would encourage you to just check out some other videos as well. I'm obviously doing this completely at my own risk to my own vehicle. So I just encourage you to make sure you're being safe and that you're protecting paintwork and things like that. I don't, I'd hate for you to lose some fingers or even worse, your life. Before we start the job, I'm just gonna quickly run through some of the things you're gonna to need to think through, make sure you've got before you start. Obviously, you're gonna to need to get your windows. I'm just gonna to show today doing the barn doors. I'm gonna do a separate video showing doing these, the sliding door and the side windows. I'll do those separately, they're a little bit different, but you're gonna need your windows. I've also got here a workmate bench with a towel on it, just so I've got somewhere to put the windows. You're gonna need a pair of these, which really help you kind of fit the windows. These are window suckers. I don't know if that's the right name, but that's what I call them. So these are really, really handy. You can get these off of eBay or Amazon, super, super cheap. You're gonna need an electric drill or a power drill with a 10 mil metal drill bit. That's for making the holes to cut through the panel. You're gonna need a jigsaw or a nibbler or some sort of cutter along with some decent metal blade. You're gonna need a marker pen and also a ruler to measure. You're gonna to need to disconnect the battery before you do any cutting or drilling on the van. So I've disconnected the earth using a 10 mil socket. That's already been done. I've got an assortment of different aluminum oxide sandpaper. I've got 60 grit, 120 grit, and 180 grit. And that's gonna be for prepping the surface once I've cut the holes. Because these windows have come from Heritage Parts Center, they also come with a fitting kit. And so in here is the bonding sealant, the etching primer, and all the and protective gloves, all the things you'll need to fit these windows. You're also gonna need this rubber trim to be able to finish off those cut edges once it's all finished before we fit the windows. That'll give it a really professional look. You're also gonna need a mastic gun. That's just for kind of bonding the windows into place. And the last thing you're gonna need, I've got some frog tape. You can use masking tape or maybe something like Gorilla Tape a bit stronger, and that's actually to hold the windows in place. So this is gonna be a very straightforward install video. I'm not gonna do lots of fancy camera angles. I'm using a tripod. I'm gonna try and get in as close as I can to show you how to do the job. In the description, I'm gonna put time codes to all of the different sections of the video. So if you're trying to follow this at home as a bit of a how-to whilst you do the same thing, there are gonna be different parts to the video. Right, let's do it. We're gonna got the 10 mil drill bit on the drill and we're gonna basically drill a hole here in each corner, so we know basically where we're going to. The great thing is you see that it's got these little notches. That is a great place to start a pilot hole. The same on this side, and then just tear up in the edges. There's no going back from this point. You can see just in there, that's the first hole. That's cut nice and close to that lip. In for hole number two. And we'll just do the same for three and four. The first thing we want to do is make sure we're marking up the window accurately and using a screwdriver and actually just knock in some holes all the way along the edge rather than trying to knock it out the first time. So there's all these little markers and then effectively along the other side of the window doing dot the dot with a marker pen. That helps you get those angles. And so you're basically looking at 45 mil along from there, 70 mil from along there, and then along here, this is 30 mil. And then on this side, that's 30, 
five mil. And so those are the dimensions you want to work to. So these are the jigsaw blades that I got. You can see I've put that blade in here. I've obviously got some protective goggles on now, sunglasses, goggles, they're the same thing. And what we're going to do is follow this line round and basically cut this panel out. So this edge, I've got a little bit close to the metal work here, which is okay because we're going to cover it with a trim, but I'm just going to take it from the inside. Okay, so we've taken most of the edge away, just got to do the top. As I cut past this point, I'm going to put some tape on here, so we don't want this bit of metal to fall, um, because if it does, it could really scuff the van up. So I'm just going to do that now. At this point we want to get some frog tape and we're just going to stick this panel on here so that it doesn't go anywhere. We don't want to cause an accident. You can see that's cut all the way through and so what we're going to do is just push that out just very slowly, take those off and that's going to go down the scrap. There's a bit of a rough edge around here so what I'm going to do is get the sandpaper and then we're just going to give it a really good buff down, get those edges off. I'm going to go with the coarser one first and then we're going to go finer and finer. So we'll start, I think it's 80, I've got 120 and then 180. And we're just going to sand that down, get rid of the harshness of some of these burrs of metal. And basically what I'm going to do is just rub this edge down. I'm trying to take off all the harsh edges, all the burrs of metal that are really loose. And then I'll do the same with 120 and then 180. The black edge of this window needs to be cleaned. And so you get this Dynatrol, uh, you basically shake it up, you put it on a cloth and you rub it all the way around the edge. Then you leave it for two minutes. And then after that, you buff it all off, uh, which I've actually just done that bit. We need to get this etching primer and you basically shake this up for a couple of minutes, I've already done that. And then what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna, um, using one of these paint sticks, we're basically just gonna put an edge all the way along there, upon which is gonna go the adhesive that's gonna bond this to the window. You can see I've already got the suckers on the bottom of there. This stuff is etching primer, so you wanna be very careful when you're using this. It's at this point you wanna use the little gloves, because this is the bit that can start to get a little bit messy. So I'm gonna put this down well away from the window. And then what we want to do is we're just going to stick that in there. And I'm going to try not to have so much that it's dripping off. And then we're just going to get a nice line all the way along this window. Be very careful that you don't actually get this dripping. You don't want to have this leaking all over the window because it's a nightmare to clean off. It's incredible. It's like a very strong kind of solvent, I guess. Whoa! Oh no! Oh no! Whoa. Okay, so we just about managed to rescue that. Thankfully it's not gone on the actual glass. So that's excellent. And then what we're going to do, I'm just going to leave this for about 10 minutes to dry. Ideally you don't want to do that. So, you know, that's a big mistake, guys. Um, but thankfully we recovered it. Um, I'm just going to take these gloves off. So while that primer's drying on there, I've actually got a bit on here. This is literally just to etch the edges and seal those. So what we're going to do is get some on this little ball and then we're just going to very quickly just run this all the way along that lip where we cut the metal. We're going to get it on the metal work. It's going to seal up any bits of metal. This is going to get covered with a, a bit of trim. You want to make sure you get it all on any exposed bits of metal. It will just stop any rust coming through. There we go, that's looking really, really good. What I've done, I've actually got a hammer and I've knocked this outer edge in that way, all the way along just to bridge that gap. So it's basically pinched those skins together. So when the rubber seal goes over it, it goes over it a lot easier. And so I've just knocked all that together. There we go, so that looks pretty smart. That's not gonna rust now. So that's gonna take about 10 minutes for that primer to set. While that's happening, I'm just gonna get the mastic gun ready so we can start masticking up that window. Well the weather's come over pretty rubbish here. It looks like it could possibly rain which would be a bit of a pain. I'm just going to start putting this trim onto the vehicle and so I'll just show you it's very easy to do. So you just get the trim and just give it a little bit of a bash and then we obviously want to make sure it's down in all of the corners and then you just basically lay it in like this. And 
There we go. And as you can see, that goes on pretty easily. Because I've pinched those skins together, it pushes on pretty easy. The gap's been reduced. And then I've got that little bit where I've undercut that. And so what I will do is just lift this bit up, slide that in. When the window's fitted, you won't be able to see that cut, but ideally you wouldn't want to make that mistake. Always measure twice, cut once. I've measured once and cut once and I've come unstuck, but that's a quick fix. It looks fine. I think it's gonna rain. So what we'll do now, we get to masticing on the window. So I've got the mastic gun, that's all ready. And you can see it is actually starting to rain on this window. So we don't want to rush and make any mistakes, but at the same time, I'd really like to get this window on before the rain comes and ruins everything. So I'm gonna start up in this top corner and along where I've put that etching primer, we're just gonna put a very big bead and where there's a bit of mess, we'll tidy some of that up in a moment. Okay, so we're halfway there. We're just gonna try and get a bead of this sealant all the way around. Hopefully that weather's gonna just hold off long enough for me to get this window on. It looks like the rain's starting to come now. Okay, so we're nearly there, coming onto the home straight. Any points that are a little bit low, where the mastics may be looking a bit low, you want to just put, make sure that there's a, a good covering on there. And so now I'm going to pick this up and we're going to actually put it onto the vehicle. Okay, so as you can see, that's now in place. Happy with where that is, just sort of checking all the gaps. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some tape and we're gonna run that in several places on the window. In reality, the mastic's gonna hold it in place, but we don't want it slipping, we don't want it moving. This will really help with that. And that is basically that fitted. So what we do, as you can see, the rain's starting to come down, so that's perfect timing. I think I'm gonna just try and cover this up with something if I can, and I need to get this camera out of the rain. So we'll just draw this to a close for a bit and then we'll come back when it's dry. So that's the next day, it's 20 to one. It horrifically rained yesterday, so that was the end of it. And, but as you can see, the window's all fitted. I've just given it a quick clean. It looks absolutely amazing. It took me about three and a half hours to do from scratch, because obviously I was messing around doing a lot of the videoing. So I'm literally gonna crack on and fit this window that's just next to it. I'm not gonna go through the talking, so I'll just do a time lapse of that and I'll actually time myself and that'll give you guys a bit of an idea um, of how long it should take if you're just doing it uninterrupted. I reckon probably an hour, hour and a half, but we'll see. Okay, it's 12.51. I've got my phone here, I don't know if you can see it. I've started the timer. We'll leave this running and see how long it takes. Boom, check that out, 55.32, we've done it. Under an hour, easy to do. Gonna leave this overnight to dry. You can easily get the back two done in a couple of hours if you know what you're doing. Pretty straightforward. I'm gonna do the side two at another point. So there you go, guys, that's both barn door windows fitted. Super pleased about that. Thank you, Lord, for the sun. Just gone to show you that you can actually fit it in under an hour, 55 minutes. That's a new record, I think. Just want to say a massive thank you to our friends at Heritage Park Centre. Thank you so much for providing these windows. They look absolutely fantastic, super easy to fit. And also, don't forget that you too can get 5% discount from anything on the Heritage Park Centre website using the code GDUB TV. Go and check them out. I'd encourage you to do so. And if you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.